are pretty excited. We have worked really hard in the preseason. The team has really bought into the weight room. We've had a lot of leadership outside of our captains who have really done a great job. Obviously the point guard position is a really important one to fill and Taylor has done a really amazing job stepping up. She's growing in her leadership role every single day. She's really knocking down shots. She's really worked hard on, on her outside shooting and she's doing that. So she's really kind of taking the reins and, and taking over as a sophomore. Tania Keys is a freshman point guard and she's doing an incredible job, super athletic, can really get the ball up and down the floor and can shoot a little bit from the outside too. So um, that's exciting to look forward to. We're really good in the post, and this year we have quite a few players who can who can really get it done down there, and a lot of really good athletes. Felicia Joseph from Boston has done amazing things. She's going to start for us, and um, Meg Roy from New Hampshire. She's great with her back to the basket, and uh, Ace obviously coming back as a sophomore. So we're really young and a lot deeper in the post. And then obviously we have some other great key players coming back in Sabrina and Brooke. You can't go wrong with those two out on the court. Brooke has been an incredible leader. She's going to have a fantastic senior year. Sabrina has been an incredible leader as well. She's been shooting the ball really well. And Sarah Hanratta, she's really one of those self-made players who has worked really hard in the offseason and is, is going to be is going to be sixth man for us this year. So she's going to see a lot of time. So we're really excited defensively. We're a lot quicker, so I think we're going to be able to experiment with some different things. But again, still trying to figure out the puzzle pieces and what, what works for us, what doesn't. Um, we still like to play up tempo. That's kind of something we've always liked to do. So we're looking forward to doing that again. We have a lot to live up to, and we also need to focus on one day at a time and being in the moment and just getting better every single day. We have a really tough non-conference schedule. We have a unique situation in the Northeast where we have a lot of top 25 teams right in our backyard. So it's great to be able to have these relationships and these continuous games that we've had with these teams over the years. So we're gonna have a good test in, in the beginning to see kind of where we are and what we need to do. And the Liberty League obviously is, is great. There's a lot of really strong teams. So there's no easy games on the schedule. We're just really big on making sure that we're holding each other accountable. And we have individual goals that, that we're setting. We're, we're about team goals, but about helping people achieve as individuals as well. And we also have a very open collaborative culture. So, you know, as coaches, we want to know what the players think when they're out there. I really want to collaborate with these players and know what they like and don't like, because if you're running something and they're not bought into it, it's not going to work. I feel like we're all on the same page with what we need to do and how we need to do it. And we really want to make the NCAAs and go beyond the Sweet 16 this year. That's our goal. So what are we going to do to get there? And so it's really cool that everyone's super committed. Everyone's in the gym and they're ready. So that's really exciting to see that everyone's on board and everyone's willing to put in the work. We want to try to challenge ourselves.